एस वाई बी एस सी मैथमेटिक्स प्रैक्टिकल ऑन मैक्सिमा सॉफ्टवेयर एग्जाम्पल नंबर फाइव फाइंड अ रियल रूट करेक्ट टू फाइव डेसिमल प्लेसेस ऑफ द इक्वेशन एक्स ई रेस टू एक्स माइनस फोर इक्वल टू जी इक्वल टू जीरो नियर एक्स इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट फाइव यूजिंग न्यूटन रैपसन मेथड ओके so we want to use here newton lapson method for the function f of x is equal to x e raised to x minus 4 and initial root is given x0 is equal to 0.5 so the newton lapson formula is xn plus 1 xn plus 1 is equal to xn minus f of x n divided by f dash of x n. So here the derivative of the given function f dash x is equal to x into derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x plus e raised to x into derivative of x is one and derivative of minus four is zero. So the it is equal to x e raised to x plus e raised to x, and therefore x one is equal to x zero minus f of x zero. Divided by f dash of x zero. So this is equal to x one is equal to x zero, zero point five minus f of zero point five divided by f dash of zero point five. It is equal to x one is equal to. Uh, if if we if we solve this, then x one is equal to one point. We get this one point seven eight. Okay, one point seven eight four one. Next, if you find the x two here, the x two is equal to x one minus f of x one divided by f dash of x one. So this is equal to this implies x two is equal to one point seven eight four one minus f of one point seven eight four one divided by f dash of One point seven eight four one. So this is equal to second iteration. It is equal to one point three eight four six. Oh, sorry, four six. Similarly, you can find the value of x three by using the formula x three is equal to x two minus f of x two divided by f dash of x two, and continue so on. and we are going to stop this process if two successive roots are correct up to 3 4 decimal places now we are going to use a maxima to solve the newton raphson method so the given f of x is equal to f of x is equal to here x into uh, exponential of x e a e raised to x minus 4 Uh, okay, f of x is equal to. So this is uh, f of x, and if you find the derivative here, the derivative of f of x, uh, and the given uh, given independent variable is x, so the derivative is equal to x e raised to x plus e raised to x. We get here same derivative. You can check it is x e raised to x plus x. So now. Mm, So I am going to write here say f of x is equal to again f of x is equal to say sorry f of x is equal to uh, x star e raised to x we use for e raised to x we use e x p x minus four and d up of x so we use uh, this. d up for derivative of x is equal to x e x p x plus e x p x. So this is the derivative of the given function f of x. So the x one is equal to sorry. So this is what um, this is f of x and this is derivative of f of x. So the x one Is equal to x zero is what zero point five minus f of zero point five divided by f dash of zero point five. Okay, 
uh, sorry not f dash it is f df for derivative we use df df and we get the value of x1 is 1.7840 okay we get the same value 1.7841 now next for x2 x2 here x2 is equal to one point okay I want to assign x1 here so instead of that i am writing here x1 so x1 is equal to this is x1 so x2 is equal to again x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 divided by f dash uh, df of x1 and we get the value of x2 is equal to 1.7845 you can check here it is one point here 1.348 okay so here we get the value of uh, x2 is what 1.3845 so the x3 is equal to uh, x3 we want to assign x3 so x3 is equal to x2 minus f of x2 divided by d f of x2 and we get x3 is equal to 1.224019 now again if you find x x4 x4 is equal to x3 minus f of x3 divided by f dash of x3 for f dash we use the d f so it is 1.20 now you can check x3 and x4 correct up to one decimal place so now if you try to find x5 then x5 x4 minus f of x4 divided by f dash of x4 and now you can ch check these two root x5 and x4 they are correct up to three decimal places and if you try to find here x5 okay say okay x6 if you try to find x6 here which is equal to x5 minus f of x5 divided by f dash of x5 you may get the root correct up to one sorry one two three four five six okay so x5 and x6 correct up to uh, 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 decimal places these two roots are correct up to 6 decimal places so after 6 iteration after 6 iteration we get the root of the given equation given equation f of x correct up to uh, 6 decimal places or even though if you try to find here f of x6 x6 you will get the root is what it is what this is very close to zero this is 10 raised to minus 4 means or it is very close to zero so this is the root of the given equation and this is correct up to six decimal places thank you